Hello, today we're going to talk about the Launchpad script for Liquid Rhythm. What we've got here is a dedicated set of controls for navigating, inputting, and editing selections in Liquid Rhythm. The Launchpad has been broken into relative sections that allow for quick and simple interfacing yet still manage to provide a pleasant user experience. At the top, we've got the Play, Undo, Redo, Set Loop, and Delete buttons, so basic navigation of the transport. Below that, we've got the Beatform Sequencer, which is allowing us to edit objects in the Beatform Sequencer on the bottom right of Liquid Rhythm. Okay, and that's been broken into two sections, okay, because we've got actually eight lanes we can play with, but we can only see four at a time, and that's what this toggle button does. It lets us toggle the views of that, uh, that Beatform Sequencer, okay? On the side, we've got two rows of buttons that allow the user to use and change uh, variables in the randomizer, which also is sort of the surprise me button here, okay? So by increasing or decreasing these buttons and the X's turn on the lanes of those, uh, those uh, variables you could edit, you can change um, the parameters of what's going to be surprise So as I start changing that up, you can see that if I play with these variables a bit, I'm gonna start getting different suggestions, okay? I'm going to turn that off real quick. Actually, I can just delete it by using the delete button. Now, below the beatform sequencer are the bar form list selector, and that's actually really neat. Okay, so this is what accesses the list on the side here. Now, you'll see there's 10 buttons here, but usually your bar form list can be populated with way more than 10, so it's just showing us the first 10. And again, that can be um, something that you've populated with your favorites, or uh, you, you decide to use the, the, the similar or suggested. So right now, I've got four um, lanes in Liquid Rhythm going here with, with kick, side stick, snare, and hi-hats, right? In the first lane, I'll simply grab one of these bar form, uh, yeah, that one's cool. I'll grab that one from my, from my bar form list editor, hit play, and we're off to the races, okay? I'm going to use this bottom section here, which is my, uh, my modifier keys. Essentially, what these are are more uh, stylized um, choices for uh, navigating. See my arrow was upside down, there we go. So that's gonna let me move my selection around. And now that I'm in the lower uh, selection, the, the side stick, I'm gonna grab another pattern. Maybe I'll play with my beat form sequencer. Go to the second row and see if there's anything cool down here. That's neat. Down to the next layer in, gonna go to my snares, maybe I'll find something like yeah, I like that, so I'm going to add the next layer in here. Nope. Play with my regroover buttons here. That's going to shift around the, uh, the bar form family so that these objects play a little bit differently. And that's kind of neat. Go down to the next layer underneath and start adding some hi-hats. Kind of cool. Now that I've got a bit more uh, of a pattern going here, I'm going to use my rent or my modifier keys a bit more smartly. I'm going to go select all. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the next region over, the top here. And I'm going to hit paste. So now I've got a two bar loop. I'm going to select all again and hit the loop button, which will resize that loop. And now I'm playing my uh, my loop now. So it's really cool. Um, I've, uh, I've definitely noticed how it changes my workflow. There's one more thing I want to show you here is the um, drag button, which is kind of cool. So if you, uh, if you see here the drag button, any area that I've got selected, I can hit the drag button and it essentially will grab onto it and move it around. And when I'm done, I hit the drag button again and it plops it in the spot that I'd like it to be. So now we go back here, we can see I've, I've, I've lost something. I also have a delete, a duplicate button, sorry, boom. Now I hit the duplicate and I've filled in my area and you can have a lot of fun with uh, basic access to some of the cooler functions in Liquid Rhythm.